Hello everyone, my name is Dao Weili. I'm from Zhejiang University of China. Firstly, I'd like to apologize for being unable to present this paper in person. It is just because of my visa application problem. I hope this video can introduce a rough idea of our work. The title of our paper is Optimal and Real-Time Planning for Emergency Cleaning and Affordance of Tractor Trailer Vehicles. Firstly, let me introduce our university. Zhejiang University is located in Hangzhou, China. It is a beautiful city and will host Asia Games this September. Our university motto is Seeking Truth, Pursuing Innovation. Our vision is to become a world-class university that will transform lives and improve China and the world. My group was founded in 2008. Currently, we have 15 students, including master's students and PhD students. The focus area of our research is human-centered approach to automated driving. We have several automated vehicles for tests. We have two driving simulators, and we also frequently use human factors measurement devices. So basically, we have two directions of research. In the left side is vehicle dynamic control and motion planning. So in this direction, we basically carry out research about traffic jam assist, auto parking, steering assist, motion planning for less motion sickness, or planning for crash mitigation. We also carried out research about collision avoidance in passenger vehicles. For example, in this video, we have steering-based collision avoidance. We also use collision avoidance for tractor trailers vehicles, which is the topic of this research. We even use drifting as collision avoidance approach. In the right side of videos, they are about automated driving decision in social contests that is, interactive driving, for example, in unsignalized intersection driving, in highway pilot driving, how to keep distance and keep the lateral position in a lane. We also research on interaction between cyclist, pedestrian, and automated vehicle, uh, for example, in right side videos. We research on overtaking behaviors, how to efficiently and safely overtakes a vehicle, especially in dynamic scenarios. We made decision on the ramp margin, how to plan and trajectory tracking. More videos can be found on my website. In this work, I will present these five parts. First, introduction, background and related to work. For tractor trailer vehicles, Emergency cleaning avoidance is challenging, since these scenarios are often highly dynamic and risky. Rear-ending, drag knifing, running off-road often happen. They will lead serious accidents, for example, multi-vehicle cleaning with fatality. However, if we consider about passenger cars, braking or steering-based cleaning avoidance systems have been already commercialized. For tractor trailer vehicles, there are significant differences in vehicle dynamics, load variability, actuated capability. Specifically, the challenges include how to safely plan and control in real time. The vehicle size is bigger, the dynamics is faster, but the maneuverability is limited. The computing resources is always limited too. Further, we need to handle the coupling among vehicle actuators. We need to balance multiple objectives, for example, optimality, safety, real time, etc. The example scenario in this figure is researched in this paper. The Eagle vehicle drives in the right lane. In front of it, there's obstacle vehicle one. It is slow or even stationary. In the left lane, there is obstacle vehicle two. So the problem is to find a trajectory to safely guide the vehicle for cleaning avoidance. So in the literature 
There has been many research on this topic. For example, search based or sampling based. They have high computing efficiency, but the curse of dimensionality and weak completeness is their uh, disadvantages. Learning based, however, can model complex nonlinear data, but it is difficult to adapt to new scenarios. Optimal control problem based, that is OCP, uh, has been researched in recent years. Kinematic models or dynamic models can be used. They can balance computing efficiency and traceability. So, in this work, we use the optimal control problem based framework. It can consider vehicle dynamics, actuate limits, stability limits. Uh, we aim to realize real time computing in this work. For the lower level motion control, we use the linear time varying model predictive control. So, in this framework, we use obstacle motion prediction. Here, we use a constant acceleration model to find the obstacle constraints. And we model the vehicle dynamics, uh, specifically the nonlinear vehicle model. And we form, formulate this problem as an OCP. And then we use a simulation and the scaled vehicle for validation. Focus of this paper is about motion planning. Okay. For vehicle dynamic model, we model 8 degrees of freedom. For tractor and trailer, the 4 degrees of freedom is lateral, longitudinal, yaw, and raw motion. For the time model, we use match formula. So we find we can have this nonlinear vehicle dynamic model and the system states and control inputs. For simulation, we use the full size of truck uh, track, tractor trailer vehicle model. So for the real time planning algorithm, we want to find a trajectory that can get for the collision avoidance. That is, we need to include all multiple objectives in one framework. That, that is, we need to care about safety, energy, actuate trade jitter. So in the cost function, we include all these points. We need to consider various constraints, for example, the nonlinear system model and actuate limits. Here, we limit the steering and the longitudinal acceleration. For the stability limits, we need to empirically to limit the vehicle states. For the collision affordance, we have this uh, constraint. For successful collision affordance, we also limit the terminal time. That is, the process of collision affordance should be limited in 8 seconds. So if we consider about this original OCP problem, we found that the terminal time TF is free, means that we need to guess how much time does it take to finish the entire collision affordance process. So uh, it complicates the algorithm computing efficiency. It cannot run real time. So it is not useful enough for the collision avoidance uh, problem in this topic. So we want to transform this time domain problem into a space domain problem. It is because we need to mimic human driver strategy in planning, especially in this scenario. That is, we want to set a preferred point ahead of the distance. For example, in this red dot, in this case, we can transform the original time domain OCP into a space domain. Definitely, this distance should be adapted according to different speeds, different scenarios. So we can have this transformed OCP in this uh, frame. In this case, we can have improved efficiency of computing. Okay, for the validation of the algorithm, we use simulation. First, we set different 
initial velocities of ego vehicle. That is, in this figure, the ego vehicle and for the obstacle 1, it is stationary. For obstacle 2, it is accelerating with a 3 meters per second square acceleration. This is the planning result. We can find that with different initial velocity of ego vehicle, different trajectory of collision affordance can be obtained. To detail, with increased ego vehicle velocity, to consider about the stability limits, the collision avoidance trajectory should be studied later to, to guarantee the, the system safety. For the tracking performance, the areas are very small. Secondly, we set the obstacle two's acceleration. That is, the obstacle one is still stationary. But for the obstacle two, we have three different acceleration scenarios. That is one, two, three meters per second square. We have found that if we can get information of this obstacle two's acceleration, the trajectory of planning is also different. To detail, with increased acceleration of obstacle two, the collision avoidance should be studied later, and the vehicle velocity should also be higher. The tracking performance also shows that the areas are small enough to uh, track the planned trajectory. Further, we set different low surface conditions to check whether in wet condition of load, the algorithm can still find a trajectory for collision affordance. So the obstacle one is still stationary. With wet load condition, mu equals 0.6. With drag condition, mu equals 0.8. We found that comparing to the dry condition, the wet condition cannot guarantee enough braking forces and also steering forces. So the initialization of as collision avoidance is postponed. The tracking performance shows that the max errors of lateral errors and vehicle velocity are both uh, small enough. For road tests, we use a scaled tractor trailer vehicle with front wheel steering, front wheel drive, and by one controlled chassis. The wheelbase is 1.47 meter. The onboard position and localization sensor is CGI610. The motion planning pro algorithm is implemented in C++ and runs on uh, Lenovo PC. Note that the planning control algorithms are run in two different PCs. In this scenario, we use the obstacle one and two information as injected, that is digital twin. Okay, so for this test, uh, the initial condition of a eagle vehicle, uh, the velocity is lower as 2.5 meters per second. The obstacle one is stationary. Uh, we need to track the planning algorithm performance with a sudden change of obstacle two acceleration. That is, at one second, the obstacle two suddenly starts to accelerate with two meters per second square acceleration. So at the time of 3.12 seconds, the obstacle two actually overtakes ego vehicle. That is, it does not want to EV to change it to its lane. So the planning algorithm can still find a trajectory to avoid the collision and successfully to avoid the collision with obstacle one or as obstacle two. To conclude, the emergency collision avoidance planning problem of tractor trailer vehicles is addressed 
through an optimal control problem framework. It can consider nonlinear vehicle dynamic model, actuate the limits and collision constraints. The real-time planning is achieved by transforming the original time domain problem into a space domain problem. So for future work, the system dynamics uncertainties can be considered. For example, the parameter variations under different loading conditions. Further, the complex obstacle vehicle behaviors can be considered. Full-size vehicle application is also necessary. Thank you for your attention. I hope this video can give you a rough idea of our work. Let's work together for Fusion Zero. Thank you.